Welcome back to the platform. We're checking your candidate's stand on campaign finance and spending. Senator Manny Villar is the highest spender in this election. Let's listen to his take on this issue. Kaya lang naman mamahalan, mahal, mahal sige lang mga istasyon ng telebisyon. Kung sila'y magbababa, hindi naman malaki magagastos namin. Okay, Becky, let's go quickly on this. What do you think of his statement that it's media who is causing all of this large spending? Um, it's true in the sense that uh, it's media that uh, sets the price, I mean, mm -hmm. how much it is. But mm -hmm. you don't have to buy all the airtime. Okay. So it's excessive, excessive spending. Okay, so his, yeah. his idea of asking the networks to lower their ad rates, is that reasonable? Uh, I'm not very sure how the rates are actually uh, set, but uh, you don't have to buy it. <laughs> you don't have to buy it. And for that, you give him a score of? Uh, no shade. No shade at all. No shade. <laughs> okay, Attorney Cadiz, what is your take on Mr. Villar's spending? Be even before the campaign started, he already issued statements saying that if you don't have a billion pesos, at least you have no business running for president. 100 days before the campaign period, he, he spent 1.2 billion pesos in, in media ads. Uh, mm. Now he's uh, the top spender. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's really raised the bar for uh, campaign spending. But I gave him a one-fourth shade. Why? Just being kind to him and uh, also because uh, I think there's also value in saying that I am not a co-opted politician. I, I, I'm not dependent on okay. donors. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Now, but Villar says he's following the letter to the law. Actually not. Uh, in fact, he's been uh, skirting around the law, the spirit of the law, okay. uh, by using especially now that he has exceeded the time limits, party list uh, uh, time. Uh, time yes. All right. Let's move on to our next, uh, our next candidate, one of Senator Villar's strongest and fiercest critic, Senator Jabi Madrigal. Here's what she has to say. I think that there should be a law against advertising before campaign period, and then during campaign period, they can give us a larger um, uh, allowance in order to tell people what our platform is. Okay, Attorney Cadiz, you say you doubt her sincerity. Yeah, I, because he, her statements are always pegged on Villar. So I don't know if her statements are based on genuine advocacy mm -hmm. or, it, or, is it, it, or if it is just an attack against uh, Senator Villar. Okay, and for that you gave her a score I gave of? her, I think, mm -hmm. one-fourth shade. A quarter shade. Um, but I like what she's saying in terms of the proposition to regulate spending before the elections. Mm -hmm. So I give her the benefit of the doubt in that. So And what score? So I give her one half. A, yeah. a half shade. Mm -hmm. All right, as we move on, we ne go next to Senator Richard Gordon, who wants to lower the limit on campaign spending. Dapat mas mababa, lalo na ako, ang gobyerno natin, Ang airlines, pag-aari ng tao, dapat ang TV spending dapat mas mababa. Hindi ko naman sinasabi magpalugi ang mga stasyon ng TV. Sa ibang basa, pagka-politician ka, mas mababa kaysa sa commercial rates. Okay, we heard Richard Gordon, Attorney Cadiz, you say like Jambi, you doubt his sincerity. Yeah, because he was complaining against uh, pre-campaigning by some of the candidates, but we have monitored the team himself. Mm -hmm. spent 246 million pesos mm -hmm. in TV, radio, print ads mm -hmm. before the official start of the campaign period. And what grade do you give him? I gave uh, Gordon one-fourth shade. A quarter shade for Senator Gordon. Becky, you said that uh, Senator Gordon did support your electoral reforms. Yeah. And uh, so you gave him a higher grade. Why? Yeah, I gave him a higher grade because only because uh, he was very supportive of the political party development and campaign finance act mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. law or bill okay. uh, that we wanted to pass. Uh, he was very insistent that political parties should be able to develop properly and therefore campaign funds can be regulated. So only in that sense that I really you know, supported him. And what grade do you give him? That's why I gave him one half. <laughs> a half shade for Senator Gordon. Okay, and finally, we have JC De Los Reyes who says the limit on campaign spending is more than enough. Let's listen to what he has to say. Okay, let me ask you a practical question. Is the limit to campaign spending enough? Becky? 
Um, I think it has to be reevaluated because it may not be enough for national positions, mm -hmm. uh, considering inflation mm -hmm. and the number of voters that are actually uh, 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 candidates that are actually competing. Okay. So it's important to regulate that as well. So it's two points or two so sides. So you're, you're really you want to look at a new index. Yeah. A also, ratio from voter to uh, cost index. Yeah, yeah. Uh, index to inflation maybe. And then also, uh, I think it's important to look at the sources mm -hmm. of the contributions to okay. the finance. All right. When, when Jason De Los Reyes says that, and he says that they're going campaign person to person, what score did you give him? Uh, I gave him one quarter because uh, I think it's unrealistic to say that the uh, ceiling should be lowered. All right. And you, Attorney Cadiz? Yeah, I, I agree that the ceiling is too low already. That was determined in the 1980s, mm -hmm. more than 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I like the fact that uh, he's been really spending uh, time going around the country. Okay. Uh, so I gave him three-fourths. Uh, okay. Shape. All right. So on that note, we have given all of our candidates a chance. Uh, JC De Los Reyes gets a three-quarters from Attorney Cadiz. I'd like to thank you, Attorney Cadiz, for joining thank us. Know. Becky, thank you very much for giving us your own thoughts on campaign spending this year. Thank you very much. Uh, as, as, uh, in the past month, as we went beyond the spin and the mudslinging to analyze the candidates' track record, agenda, and ultimately their character, we'd like you to continue reading up on their platforms before you finally shade your ballot on May 10th. We'll leave you with a recap of the scores our guests gave the presidential bets on various issues. I'm Chacha Lazaro for Platform. Thank you for joining us. Please don't waste your vote. Protect the sanctity of the ballot and please go out and vote on May 10th. Thank you.